There's a reason I'm talking to these people for the most part. Okay, let's keep moving. Do 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 do. On to Indivigo. So obviously we're talking to people. Not that it's a big deal, but eh. Um. Let's see. I don't want to go that way. So let's go this way. This can't be the right way. No. No. No, this this is right. I think this is right. I think we're supposed to press this one. Um, so now that we've done that, let's go back here. No. Let's take Jane and head this way. And then we're gonna... My notes are poorly written here, so I'll deal with it. We'll go this way. And we'll go here. I like that's really tricky, but... Not what I need to do yet. I actually need to go this way. And then we'll use magic staff on the horse. Not scared of small rooms, they're just scared because of all the humans around me. Uh oh. They're gonna get you. They're gonna get you! Let's keep moving. No! Let's use Rudy here. Pretty much just to lift one of these bad boys out of the way. And then we'll use Jack to get us the item here. Ta-da! Ooh, nice. We got another migrant seal. Like, we don't have enough of those, right? And the idea is to check out what happened to the monster, which is why now I realize this is what's going on. We have to find out where the monster is hiding. That's why. Er and now we're thrown in battle, battle against this guy. Um, really, best way to do this, just use some cheap shells like Snipe Bullet or Mighty Avalanche or Boosted Shell. We're actually going to open up with Boosted Shell to raise um, Rudy's FP. We're just going to have Jack throw out a Gela card. Because who doesn't want free money? And, uh... Let's see. Be careful, though. This boss can do some nasty stuff to us, so... Just keep that in mind. Uh... Let's just use lightning. We should do some decent damage, so... We don't have any lucky cards, I don't believe. So, let's hold on to them. And if we did have lucky cards, I'd be putting them elsewhere. I guarantee it. I'd find a different use for it. Boosted show. And Cecilia gets poisoned. Great. <laughs> she countered attack. Like that's useful. Um. We'll boost it. Use a boost. Another boosted shell. Let's remove um the poison, shall we? And use another uh lightning. If, as needed here. Feeling better. The experience from this battle is great, but we don't have enough lucky cards to make it worth our while, so don't worry about it. Booyah! Yeah, you good thing we dodged. That's an instant kill attack almost right there, so... Something to be weary of. Let's go ahead and lock on. And we'll go ahead and throw out a Gatling Raid, which should practically end this battle. We'll let Jack use a Potion Berry, and oh hell, why not? Let's let's actually, we have the option of summoning, but I'm going to Fragile him, actually, since he's vulnerable to Fragile. Or Fragile, however you want to pronounce it. 
And we should win this battle pretty straightforward, unless somebody gets gibbed. But he already did his gib attack and missed, so... Nice, Rudy got the faster speed. I forgot about that. Sweet! And that's enough to gib him. Isn't that just such a... Isn't that just the most coolest attack ever? You know it's the coolest attack you've ever seen. And the battle is won! A big win! As we get Dark Break. And some gold. And we all level up. Yes! Alright, so the battle is officially over. Good. Let's keep talking and doing all this stuff. When we came into the shelter, blah, 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 blah. Correct. I know what's going on with the monsters infiltrating the barrier shelter. I believe it is. We must hurry. Is here. I too have a bad feeling about this. Okay. Interrupted me. This better be good. Of course it's good, but you won't find it amusing. Oh god, hand pan. Why do you get to do all the big talking? We have encountered problems, causes, and da, da 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 So here's the deal. We have to answer a bunch of these. Um, so let's do... You have to answer them in pretty much this order. St. Centaur is the answer there. Right, don't you think the incident in that town is similar? If I'm correct, the border which... Oh, it's lagging. Bypassed among humans. It's the same. Do you think it's possible as long as... Um, you blend into a crowd, and, and that's the end of the story. Don't you see it now? The monsters must be breaking into the barrier shelter the same way. Do you know what you're talking about, Rodin? Speak English! Sorry if it gets complicated from here. I'm afraid that the monsters... Uh, came in along with humans. It sounds as though you have jumped to the conclusion. You just witnessed a dog morph into a monster before our very eyes. Exactly. Um, humans morphed into monsters. That's the only explanation. So a few monsters broke in somehow and let the rest... Monsters walk right in. Makes sense. I mean, it's not hard to figure that out. Now then, let me elaborate on your... It involves planting a seed. Recent developments in biomanipulation will allow us to plant monster seeds in human bodies. The side effects of humans are minuscule and no one can possibly detect it. Then, with a snap of a finger, the seed germinates and awaits our orders. Okay. Saint Saint. There's a test subject, and I must say it was a success! <laughs> More thing, I shall clarify one of your misconceptions. You know, Mr. Che, you have a different. However, the crucial difference stemmed from the fact that humans are organic based and demons are inorganic. True for the monsters, but we demons will not succumb to the dimensional barrier. I have been talking too long. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, God, it's El Hazad. That's obvious. We need to hurry and get there before they do. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> All right. So, Jane and Magdalene join our party, but who needs them? Right? It's not like we have a lucky card. I am lucky cardless. So we won't be using them for anything coming up. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and go this way. Let's see if we can get through here. Mr. Maxwell is over there guarding a precious article. Our job is to stay here and keep the demons from reaching him. Oh, what's happening to my body? It's gonna burst open and an alien from the Aliens movie is gonna come out. And we're forced into a pretty much a uh, 
forced battle against the Die Fighter. <laughs> Interesting name. We're not going to use any of Jack's MP. There's a reason for this. Let's go ahead and hit Die Fighter with Freeze. I don't even care if I get his info or not. Auto Guard. Ah, crap. And now you die! And the battle is won! See, that wasn't so tough, was it? That fool! Okay, easy enough, let's keep moving. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, look at who it is. Jackhole. It's El Hazad. We're kind of just loitering here, waiting for him to do something. As he runs off. Swear upon my sword, I will protect Mr. Maxwell. But be forewarned, if I have to strike, I will use all my power to defeat you! <laughs> you are making me laugh! Leave now and I may lay, and you may live a little longer! I hate nothing more than you righteous attempts. Or perhaps you and Matt are just... Alright, enough of that. I'm just gonna keep moving on with this. As we're forcing about... Back to order. One thing which always irks calculated villains like me are unforeseen factors like you who foil my plans. You have left me with no choice but to eliminate you once and for all. <laughs> okay, whatever. Alright, let's swap out some characters, shall we? Let's go ahead and put in... Hello? Let's put in... For Rudy, we'll put in Jean, because we want to steal from... You will know who? Let's pilfer. Now, here's the thing. This is a very unique battle, which kind of makes me regret I don't have any lucky cards on me. But we could still kind of make it work. What we want to do... Um, blah, 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 blah. Let's see. Uh, uh, which one was it that was... The enemies, the new enemies are weak against physical attacks, and the trick is using Strike Buddy on the right set. Uh, so let's do this. It's the Esperanzas that are weak to physical attacks while the Bastis are weak to uh, um, magic attacks. So by doing this, and let's go ahead and use a Gela card right now on El Hazad. There's a reason I'm doing this, guys. Trust me. I've got it figured out. You get mad experience. If we plan this out in a very good way, we could get some serious XP. Oh wow, one of them lived. Well, good for it. Or two of them lived, rather. Whatever. We get a Mega Mega Berry. Get a Gela card. And that's our prep for the battle, since we have no lucky cards. And if I had a lucky card, I'd put it on, uh... You will know who. Ouch. Oh yeah, one of them did survive. Well, Jane's usefulness has ended for the most part, so let's go ahead and switch Rudy in. Rudy! 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 Alright, so we've got Rudy in there. Let's go ahead and have him defend. We'll have Jack finish off that last Esperanza that seemed to not die. Let's go ahead and, oh, I don't know. Let's hit the Bastis. They're weak against all magic, so let's just hit them with whatever we got. We'll use Crush. I don't use Crush very often, do I? So this is going to be a long, drawn-out battle. But I'm going to show you what I'm going to do, because, like I said, really, it's just I'm going to kill them all off. There's no reason not to. We get experience for killing them. We get gold for killing them. Why not? As he's going to use Revival Charge. And since Jack's FP is so high, we can go ahead and hit all those Esperanzas yet again. No joke, guys. Um, as Jack's just, or Rudy's just gonna hang out there. And let's go ahead and use, uh, Strike Buddy on the Esperanzas. And we're gonna do this until he has no more MP. And then guess what? We're gonna use Magdalene to do it. It's a great game plan. Um, let's do this here. 
And eventually when um, you know whose FP is high enough, we'll summon something that El Hazad is not weak against or can he can even absorb. And then we're gonna hit him with a summon and kill off all of them. So it's gonna go it's gonna bounce around back, it's gonna bounce back and forth a bit, but it's a great strategy for gaining a lot of experience since they give, it doesn't sound like they give a lot, but it's one of these battles that you can stretch out just in, just so you can really do this. So, it'll work out, I assure you. It'll all work towards the master plan. Um, as Rudy's kind of doing a whole lot of nothing, which I don't like, but that's just the way it goes. Actually, what he can do is use a potion berry. To let Jack melee attack the Esperanza. And we can, we're not going to summon yet. So let's get rid of each of them. So it causes, you know, this very insane cycle. And like I said, I'm going to do this until all of Jack's and Magdalene's age, uh, uh, MP is gone. Once they've used all of their MP, we can start busting a cap on El Hazad here. Letting Rudy do the massive final damage. And really, we could even make it so we can constantly be... Killing off other enemies and all that and all the like, but look at that—we're never seeming to run out of MP. Uh, so, and El Hazad is, you know, he, he actually is can get get bonuses from wind. So, we're probably better off hitting him with that. Let's actually, what I will do is I will attack one of the. Oh, he only revived the besties. So let's have him dodge. We'll have Jack wait, and we'll use. Gale Claw here, so that way El Hazad will absorb it and take no damage while we give the uh, Beasties yet again, and he'll waste his turn reviving them. See, this is the trick too: is it makes El Hazad waste a turn in order to revive them. And if we can do that, we can make this battle go on for a long time. See, woo hoo hoo! Uh oh, El Hazad is activated. Great. That means he's more, he's even stronger. But as long as we can keep giving his his uh, companions, who cares? Now, what are they? More beasties, but we don't have the means to give them, so... Defend, defend, and crush one. And so this is going to just go on forever. This really will. This will take an hour battle. This battle can go on for a long, strenuous period of time. It's a shame, really, that I don't actually have... Uh, it's a, it's a real big shame that I don't have the other skills available to me. Um, we'll have Rudy attack in Esperanza because we know one will live. We'll have Jack Accelerator with Strike Buddy, the group. And we will have you. We could use the ability now, but it's a waste of our FP, so we'll save it. We may even want to use our Force Carrots, though I don't recommend it because those are really nice items to hold on to. So... I wouldn't do it. Nice. Did he kill all of them this time? Great. So Rudy's gonna end up attacking the boss, I think. No, one of them's still alive. They're different colors, but barely, I think. Yeah, one of them's still out there. One's like a blue color, the other one's like a light white color or some shit. There we go. And what we'll do here is, since Jack doesn't need to have a turn, we'll let Rudy guard. So that way we don't waste um, anything with that. And let's crush the last bestie, beastie thing, Majig. And see this, like I said, this is going to go on for a long time. I could almost pause the video recording, do this until I run out of MP, and then give it El Hazad. Because the battle hasn't really changed. When you're ready to take out El Hazad, just reduce all the care, uh, enemies to one of each type, and then just give him with Gatling with the Gatling attack. That's all you have to do to win this battle. Like I said, we can make this go on for literally forever. So I'm going to go ahead and do this, okay? You guys will get... I'll, you'll get to skip through this whole sequence. I'm going to go ahead and do it now, so we'll see you when I'm ready to give El Hazad in one hit from him having full HP. Okay, so I've worn the enemy down pretty, pretty harsh, in a pretty harsh toke with all MP drained of my character. So th at this point, we're really just gonna wait till the end here, which pretty much is all gonna be on how many times we can get um, uh, Cecilia to summon without killing the boss, 
And once her FP is just gone, we're just gonna finish him off. We've done pretty good. I mean, we could. I wish I did really have three car, uh, lucky cards because if I did, this battle would be extraordinary. Uh, and the amount of experience I'd be getting is would be phenomenal. But it's not the end of the world, you know. So if I don't focus on it a lot, so I'm not overly concerned about the whole process and all that. So, like I said, we're gonna. This is where we finish the battle. We're gonna lock on. We're gonna use Gatling Raid on El Hazad. We're gonna waste his turn by obviously using Gale Claw. And if he survives this, he survives it. Who cares? Because it's gonna end our battle for us. And the amount of experience we should get should be pretty decent compared to the amounts we've gotten in the past. It may not be phenomenal, but you can imagine if, let's say, we leveled up Strike Buddy one max level where it only cost one MP, we would be almost arguably by raising the amount of experience we're going to get by the end of this battle by another 30% if Strike Buddy were cheaper. Um, I even used all of Rudy's uh, multi uh, buster shells to hit multiple enemies. Wait, what the hell? Oh, that's right. Derp. I had a derp moment. A big derp moment. Um, Rudy needs to reload attack an Esperanza we've got to remove all of the enemies down to one and one so let's do that this the next two few turns here as I can't really do much other than that actually I should have put Magdalene back in what the hell oh I went after the wrong freaking one. Oh no not that it's a big deal I mean we're gonna get more experience by holding out let's put Magdalene back in and then that way we can wing it down a bit since we can change in battle. Let's uh, put Magdalene in for Rudy because he's also fast enough too. So let's hit um, there, there, and we'll have you use Crush this time on the right enemy because we're running out of MP. Though we could use a Crystal if need be. Wow, didn't do much to that, did it? Eh, don't worry about it. It will be what it will be. We'll have enough MP to take another down. Actually, we may even have enough MP for another multi-hit, but that wouldn't be the best idea. Because by killing off the others, it forces us into another position where we have to replay a little bit just to get it down. I'd rather not do that. Let's go ahead and bring Rudy back in. And we can do the skill again. Because he'll be the one who goes last for sure. Let's use Gatling Raid, El Hazad. Let's have Jack attack one Esperanza. And we will have you attack one Bastiz. And this should even out everything so we can actually give him this time around rather than me screw up again. As he should be at the weakest we can possibly get him in order for Rudy to make sure he gets his Gatling link in. As he'll get one attack in, which will do minuscule damage. Well, that's not minuscule, but it will do enough. It won't kill anyone. Because that would be bad. That would be very bad. Uh, it would be the object of ridicule if I failed to obtain the root drive. Power alone shall not be the only integral part of my battle, battle plan. And look at that, we got 21 wind gems. Good lord. And look at that experience. Oh, snap. Isn't that, that, that name layer is really sexy. Now imagine if we had Gela cards on at least our main three characters. That would be beautiful. It would be extraordinary. Unfortunately, we don't, and that would be overkill for this kind of a battle anyway. Time for some mad leveling up, and I know this lags, but let's just do that, shall we? And let's take a look at our winnings! Wow. We went from, I want to say level 28 or 29 to level 40 and 41. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that... That makes me smile so much! <laughs> So there it is, guys. There's a great way to gain experience. It took me about an hour to do that, and easy win. So it's a great, it's a cheap as hell strategy, but it works, and I loves it. 
Oh, great. Look at who. Look, it's the p rest of the peanut gallery. You understand that once we retreat, we'll start any hope of moving forward with the rune drive plan. Wow. Interesting. Weapon known as Killing Within. Okay. Affirmative! I see your plan now. Shall we retreat then? <laughs> Let me be the arbitrator. How about you two fight me? Oh, come on, Jack. You're not that awesome. Fucking thinks he's hot shit. I'll take both of you on. Go north to Photosphere with your rune drive. There should be no problem crossing into Sodalita. Mm. Do what you will, but the end result will be us dominating the world. <laughs> As they both disappear into the nothingness. The nothingness! I don't know. <laughs> oh, good lord. Looks like the shit hit the fan, y'all. But man, let me tell you, we, we, we did good, guys. We experienced, we got some pretty good experience right there, so we did good. That makes up for all the leveling I haven't done, I didn't do earlier, you know. We're, we're ten levels above probably where we, no, we're about eight to ten levels above where we need to be, game, uh, story-wise. So, we can skip a lot of random battles, but I will not do that. I know better. Mama taught me proper, boy. No, really, it's not good to, to skip battles unless you absolutely have to. Because even though that's experience we normally would get anyway, the enemies will just be a joke to beat. Old weaponry, the risk to human life. But I know if it worked, it could save many lives. MANY LIVES! I'll do it. I'll install the rune drive into Asgard, trusting that he is indeed God's fortress. And that he will act as Felgaia's protector, blah blah blah, bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Good to know. Okay. Blah blah blah. Finish fixing, fixing Asgard. It's still not functioning. Probably the power source is damaged, so it has insufficient and great. Useless! Fixed. That will be fixed with the rune drive. Okay. Has regained functionality almost completely here. The anti phasing shield, the most powerful weapon contained in Asgard's arms. When you invoke the barrier energy, all that is touched by its arms all becomes dust. Oh, shut up, Jack. We know you jo you orgasm over the idea of you having absolute power. Here's for destruction and blah, 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 blah. Okay. These were gra your grandfather's words. Do not forget them. Do not forget. Enable the power of Asgard by keeping Zepit's words in my heart. Because now you must fight. Secure the future of Felgaia and all who live here. Blorg! Good for us. Good for us. So I'll work together to do the stuff that needs to be done. Booyah! Alright. But before we uh, finish up this episode, there's a few things we're going to take care of. We missed a chest in Barrier Shelter, mainly because I didn't feel like farting around with going through the routine required in order to grab it. But I'm going to go ahead and save because you never know when that power out's going to hit. And we just did some serious level grinding in like the easiest way humanly possible. Yeah, we went from going in from there from level 30 to level 40. Average. So that's pretty freaking awesome. And if we need to use a lucky card, we could use it on Rudy to help Rudy kind of catch up. Since he's three levels behind Cecilia and Jack. Do I care? No. He's pretty high up there. And Rudy's strengths, ironically, are not as level dependent as the other characters. I mean, that that man layer that man layer is beautiful. Uh, look at them stats. Them stats are glorious. Absolutely beautiful. Woo! I love it. However, look at Rudy. He's a killing machine. He's almost uh, he's actually over 100 points stronger in attack than Jack, so that's always impressive to see there. All right, so let's go take care of a few little um, tidbits that I still kind of left undone. 
Like I said, I left a tr chest over back in barrier shelter because I didn't feel like doing the puzzle. Which actually negates doing the puzzle if you... There's a way to do it while you're in there farting around, but I don't want to do it while I'm farting around. I just wanted to get through the puzzle. And actually, once you beat the puzzle, all gates, doors are open, I believe. I could be wrong. I think that's the way it works. Eh, whatever. But as you notice... Um, what's her name? Uh, Jane and... Uh, yeah, all the barriers are down. Jane and Magdalene are no longer with us, so don't use any lucky cards on them. They are not worthy of such greatness. Which is very true. They are not worthy of having those cards put on them because that those levels will vary as you find them again. We get MP up plus two. Definitely something uh, to put on Jack because the more MP he has, the better. And now we have a lot of room to put and a lot of this crap on. Uh... Status unable to fight by one level, whatever. Boom break. Nullifies thunder. That's what I thought. Okay. We can start putting up a good chunk of some of this stuff that's floating around here. MP2 there. HP up one here. We want, might want to put the floral arts on Jack because he's the most likely to use it. So let's put floral arts there. Regeneration. If FP raises, HP is restored. Um, that's always tricky, but let's put that on Cecilia, since she, she's the one that suffers the most from having losing health, so it's better than nothing. I actually have more HP up ones. I think you can only have one in at a time. Yeah, I think that's the case. Um, let's put that regeneration back on there. That, and when she hits level 50... We'll be throwing uh, some items and things around. Defense, uh, 25, no, defense up one. Counter we could put on Rudy, because who doesn't want Rudy to counter? We could also put critical on Rudy as well, because that's always a good thing. Is Jack should already have it on. No, he doesn't, but, well, yeah, let's put it on Rudy. Let's put that on Rudy, and we'll put this on... Uh, let's put this on Jack as well. That too. And Jack is set for my, pretty for the most part. We still have room. See, look at all this room we have for shit, dude. Um, resist. The resistance stat is... In, okay, that sounds like a good idea. Let's put that on Rudy as well. Actually, I should put this on Jack. Uh, if I can take something off. Um, you know what? I can take Surprise Guard off and put that on Rudy. If As long as it lets me put in the other stuff I want to put in there. Um, resist up. Yeah. And actually, we can even put HP up one as well. Let's go ahead and put Surprise Guard. And Rudy still got, has, got to the rooms. Let's put HP up one. And resist one in there. And that's pretty good layout. That's honestly a decent layout for these guys. They get a little bit of bonus to HP and MP. And some good other, you know, amongst other things, that's really what they get. That's not, it's not a bad layout. So let's get out of here. We've wasted enough time. Ne negotiating how we're going to re-equip our characters. That resistance should help them avoid negative status effects. Not that it always works, but it's better than nothing. Um... So let's go ahead and do a few more things while we're out. We're going to go ahead and do a puzzle box. No. I have no need for your battles. Um, and we're going to do a puzzle box as well. Um, let's test out our new skill here, actually. Shazam, biatch! See, that's our new ability. And look at this. Nice. We find 1,000 Gela. Who doesn't want free Gela? I mean, come on. It's good, 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 good stuff. So now that we've done that, per se, like I said, we still have another puzzle box to go. So let me think. It's puzzle box number nine, I believe, which is in a weird kind of place. But, well, not really. Let's get on our giant here, and let's head over towards the giant's cradle. <laughs> As we meander all the way over. We're going to come back, though, because there's a few other things I want to do. Oh, look, it caused that world glitch. So hold on, guys. Let me restore something here. 
by heading back to town. Yeah, I picked up that item and a big gap in the earth drew <laughs> made itself. So, oh well. Not, not that I care, but not a, it's not a big deal. Let's go ahead and we need to recover. I'm going to go ahead and recover. And we need to dissolve crush. Or wait, hold on. Let me think about this really quick before committing. Lodging. It's just so expensive, but we're rich and wealthy. Um. Let's. Let me think here. Um. Yeah, let's just go to the place first, and then I'll figure it out. We need to get rid of crush, and I think I want to put on fire and revive. Those are the two I think are the most important. Revive is always important. Uh, let's remove crush. Oh look, I got two crest graphs already. So let me just make fire and crush then. No. Uh. Let's put revive. Cures dis. Yeah, here we go. Anything that's missing out of there, I don't know. Nah, I think we're good. Alright, so I've done that. And I left Crush on. Makes me wonder if I've got the wrong spell layout for what I plan on doing, but I think I'll be okay. That is just gorgeous, isn't it, guys? That's just rad. That is so awesome. I just, I can't stop staring at it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and save, and we're gonna end this episode with doing a puzzle box. So who doesn't want to do a puzzle box? <laughs> yeah, right. Just kidding. All right, let's go ahead and make our way down and around. Now we're heading over towards Giant's Cradle to take care of some business. Busyness, Bizanus. We obviously are going to be doing dealing with that momentarily. Derp, 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 derp. And I want to say, um, where are the coordinates? I let me see where they're written here. Okay, so the coordinates are about. Eh. I want to say it's actually like. No, I'm not going the right way. Oh, I see it. I know exactly where it is, and I no longer need the coordinates, I remember. I knew it was over here, and you need the punch to open up the area. Triple ammo! And there's our puzzle box. When the screen flashes like that, it means it had to move Asgard, obviously, to get to the location of the thingamajig. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and do with us then they are a puzzle box. This is a level two for sure. I, I, I vaguely remember this one. Oh, wait a minute. No, I do remember this one pretty well. It's pretty, a little tricky, but eh. So let's get to it. Um... Let's see... Let's push this down one. Uh... Let's grab you. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Let's do that instead. And then we'll do, uh... Um, that should be okay. And then the green one, which is this guy here. Grab you. One, and we'll put you there. And we'll go one more. As you can see, what I'm doing is I'm rotating a lot of these boxes. Because we actually have to get rid of a lot of these with two blocks being in absolute correct position. So this is very relevant. Okay, this is all relevant, and it's very important we do it the right way, because if we screw it up, we're really screwed. Okay, so... There's that one. Okay, and then this will get us started and make us a little bit more room so we can start working here. Ta-da! Um... 
let's go ahead and pull this block up only once and you can see what I'm about to do it's pretty straightforward this is where the puzzle just instantly gets easy it's that's what I think these level 2 box puzzles really are they're hard in the beginning and then they get really easy later you know but whatever um, let's push this one down now let's pull it don't push it pull it because it'll instantly make a gap for you so you can actually do the rest of this pretty straightforward let's pull you all the way south Ta -da. see that's not too hard is it guys this one is the same deal only pull it once and then pull it all the way north till it's linear to the two blocks here and then we're gonna pull this bad boy all the way north as well Da -da. That ain't so bad, was it? You're not too hard. No, you're not. Yeah, it's not. It wasn't that hard. Was it that bad, guys? Was it that good for me? If it wasn't for you. I'm just messing with you guys. It, it was. It, it's not a very difficult puzzle. It's just getting started. Getting started on, on that one, like many level twos, are all very is what makes them hard in the beginning. Don't worry, guys. There's level fivers and fours out there, and threes that we haven't even done yet. So we will get to some harder ones. Um. So now that I farted around doing that, no. Let's go ahead and uncover supposedly the final dungeon, or is it? Wink, wink. We don't know, but we're definitely going to throw down with Siegfried coming up. That's for sure. Purple ammo. Wait a minute, that didn't work. Asgard's not ordinary. There we go. We're punching our way through. One rock at a time. <laughs> you just pull, go ahead and punch away all the blocks so you don't have to deal with, with it. It shouldn't be a big deal anyway. And you can actually see the final dungeon on the map blinking for us. Let's go ahead and uncover said locale. And there it is. Photosphere. Sweet. Not that it's a big deal, but there it is. It seems kind of tiny when they're standing next to it. And run through. Yeah, let's just run through it. That's brilliant. I don't think that's very smart. Smells like burnt flesh. Makes me sound like a bunch of people have been trying. Let's throw hand pan at it. <laughs> this time Asgard break through the barrier. He listens to whatever you say. Oh god. She had to fancify it. I will... I will break the barrier, but you owe me a blowjob. <laughs> Crunk smash! Crunk smash! Crunk smash! <laughs> Retard strength. Oh, tard strength. I, call, I like to call it the tard strength. As we uh, burst our way through, it worked. The power of the golem. Or maybe I should say his soul. Golems don't have souls, weirdo. Lunatic. Nut job. Sociopath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Derp, 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 derp. They run in. And thus we are in the photosphere. Dun dun dun. So on the next episode of Let's Play Wild Arms Alter Code F, we throw down and we have the showdown of throwdown with the big bad king of demons or the head of the quarter knights, uh, Siegfried and company. So let's see what happens when we have the big showdown with the big bad wolf. We'll see you then. <laughs>